What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome back to another video. And today you join me on week seven of this London Marathon training series. So welcome to Tuesday, you kickstart things with me and Lee. Where is he? He's there. And we're out here doing an easy loop of the cycle track. So things are mixing up a little bit this week. I'll explain more about why things have changed later in the video. But today is all about getting out there after the holiday and kickstarting a new week of training. Obviously, right now is the middle week of my training block and I've got five big weeks left. Technically, the biggest long run will be on the fourth week but five decent weeks of training left before we start to taper. So we really need to start knuckling down now, but I kind of felt like, uh, well, I'll explain the reshuffle later, but I feel like if I jump straight back into a big week this week with a, some heavy workouts and stuff after a down week last week, it might not be a good idea. So doing a 90 minute easy run today, out on the cycle track, get this done, enjoy the company, and I'll see you probably tomorrow for another run. All right, and welcome to Wednesday out here today on the cycle track once again, doing another loop just like I did yesterday, but doing it in the other way around. And uh, today is 80 minutes moderate. I'm actually testing the Endorphin Pro 3s, which is quite exciting. Uh, more testing to come on workouts later in the week, but I felt like uh, today might be a good day to run smooth, run strong, test out these shoes. Uh, they're, they're so nice. <laughs> so I said to you yesterday I'd explain why things have shuffled around. I'm going to do it tomorrow uh, before I start my workouts, give you a full explanation as to what's been happening. Um, but my priority for these first two days is just volume at a controlled uh, level. So as you saw yesterday, average heart rate was 134. Goal today, keep it again below sub 150. Just it's been the whole premise of the training block is just to dial everything back a touch make everything feel a little bit easier to compensate for the higher volume that i'm putting in and that is the priority this week and for the next four weeks volume because that is all we have left so i'm going to press on with this and uh, kind of process what's going on with the endorphin pro 3s kind of in, uh, dial into those get my thoughts together for a review, first impressions on that, and then more testing, probably tomorrow in the workout actually. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a full explanation of what's been going on this week. So good morning, it is Thursday and a double threshold day is indeed on the cards. Uh, this morning, three by 10 minutes, we'll talk about this afternoon's workout later. So I was gonna explain why this week is so jumbled up and what happened. Um, cut straight to the chase. Some of you will get it, some of you won't. If you're animal lovers, you'll get it. If you're not, sorry. Um, my eldest cat passed away on Monday. Uh, got back from holiday on Saturday. I think the heat really took its toll on him, bless him. He had heart disease and he was asthmatic and he had everything that you can imagine going under the sun, uh, bless him. But um, he had a heart attack on Monday and passed away. So it was a little bit of a rough day. I was crying a lot and I had no inclination to run whatsoever. Uh, Tuesday I was meant to do my marathon pace workout, too emotional, just went for an easy run with Lee actually which was really nice uh, and today I kind of feel a little bit more normal but it's still heartbreaking so it's um it's been a funny old week so I'm just trying to get in what I can uh, which is why I decided to cut a workout out and just sort of ease things back in. So Lee's with me this morning and we're going to do three by ten minutes with two minutes recovery, the standard morning session that I do on these double threshold days. Hopefully nice and calm, nice and relaxed because we have another workout later. Uh, and then the plan is if I can get out tomorrow for an easy run and then long run Saturday, that'll be a good solid week done and dusted. So uh, yeah, just going to roll into this one straight away because I've got to get rocking and rolling today. Busy day today and uh, see you shortly. So rep one, absolutely bang on, 544 pace, lovely stuff. It's warm, but not too warm, but it's bloody humid. So we're both sweating buckets right now, but uh, that was a solid start. I'm really happy with that. Roll on to rep two.
yes 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 546 happy with that feeling good feeling smooth that was the hardest one because there's more uphill than down in that one so last one So there we go, last rep done, 5.44, 5.43 pace. Can't complain about that. Average heart rate, 1.53, which is ridiculously low. Max was 1.73. That, I know that was on that last one. I was a little bit ill-disciplined there, and uh, I did feel myself working a bit. Hopefully that doesn't impact tonight, but uh, I mean, the low heart rate is probably just gonna be because we had a down week last week. So feeling a bit fresher uh, today, and uh, we'll see how we go tonight. But overall, mid 5.40s for, 10 minute reps in the pro threes can't grumble so welcome to the afternoon and it is eight by three minutes on with 45 seconds jog recovery so now we're into the back end of marathon training the recoveries are coming down they're as short as they're going to get now uh, with the goal to work on the speed injuries keep that heart rate higher elevated for longer but what it means is keeping the reps controlled not balls out and uh, yeah see how we get on i'm out on the uh, blah, blah, blah. i'm out on the industrial estate I hate, out, I hate it out here, I'm going to be here all winter. I try and avoid it at all costs, but these faster sessions, it's quite important to work on turnover and, and sort of dial in the speed and that sort of stuff. Talking of speed, we're in the uh, Pegasus Turbo Next Percent Natures. Going to be interesting to see how these do. These have been marketed as a, um, I should say, these have been sent to me by Nike for the purpose of review. Um, they're marketed as a tempo day shoe, fast interval workout. They're 336 grams in my size. My ride 15s are lighter than this and then some of my other daily trainers. So on a day and an afternoon where I need a little bit of comfort and cushioning and maybe a bit of help like I'd normally reach for the Zoom Fly 5, I'm just not gonna get it in this shoe. So there's part of me that hopes I'm proved wrong, but I have a funny feeling I now have I know how this workout is gonna go. So we'll see about that shortly. Um, a really comfy shoe, lockdown, brilliant, love the shoe overall, but I don't think it's a speed day shoe, if I'm brutally honest with you. And you'll see more of that in my review if you watch it. So yeah, paces might be a bit off today. We'll see how we get on. It's just about getting the effort in, getting the work done, and let's crack on, see how we do. workout complete wow that was hard really hard um energy wise i felt okay uh which is good uh, a bit windy on the way out way back i had it behind me but i didn't really take advantage of it uh, so that hampered me a bit i don't know just paces are a bit off today a bit slow shoes aren't speed day shoes they're just not, they give you nothing, they're too heavy. They're like right now, they're so comfy. Uh, but I think that's what they are, they're a daily trainer. If I'm honest, and you'll see my thoughts in the review. Uh, so I shan't be wearing these for a speed day ever again. And I seriously do not recommend any of you guys buying them for the purpose of speed. They feel like the old turbo but the weight hinders them too much. So nostalgia, big tick, comfort, big tick, lockdown feel, big tick, speed, no. All right, so welcome to Friday and we're out here on the trails doing some <coughs> recovery miles. Uh, nice and slow today. Although my heart rate monitor's packed up, um, 
you've got to charge that thing like every three or four runs and I totally forgot to charge it yesterday after my second double so I turned it on this morning and it was nope <laughs> so whatever data comes off today is off the wrist and I've <laughs> for, for, for a laugh I've been watching the heart rate dance up and down between 115 and 151 <laughs> so wrist heart rate is not accurate but um, I'm just in terms of pace this is a 120s effort uh, as going by every other run I've done around this pace at the moment I'm doing 830 per mile so I really am just kicking back that's I don't know is that 515 per k it's somewhere around there uh, so I'm just chilling and that's what it's about today just getting some miles in after uh, a good start to the week and uh, reflecting upon yesterday a little bit frustrated with the afternoon's paces but the effort was there the heart rate was and I got back and checked bang on in the right place uh, for where it usually is which is great so it shows the effort was was exactly where it needed to be and you can't uh, downplay the effects of humidity it was an absolute killer yesterday I was sweating buckets after the warm-up so I think overall really happy with things so far this week considering the start we had um, I'm just gonna bank some easy miles bank some recovery miles and roll on straight into the long run so good morning and welcome to the long run on Saturday and boy fatigue is there <laughs> so I'm out here on the cycle trail kick-starting today's long run I had to start super early this morning um, around 5.35 have a busy day today <coughs> so uh, got to get this one done I was meant to be racing the podium 5k tonight in Cardiff but uh, yeah things have had to shift around and I've just had to scrap that so although it looks like an amazing race and there'll be some great people there and it will be a great atmosphere I shall not be partaking so instead a long run it is I'm not 100% sure what the plan is today uh, being brutally honest other than I want two and a half hours but I want a little bit more if I can I'm not promising anything to myself because the fatigue is real and my glutes have major doms from um, just kind of activating them every day this week to be doing a lot of driving so to counteract that hip stretches glute bridges loads of other glute work glute mead using uh, like monster walks with resistance bands all that sort of stuff and uh, as much as that's great and I can feel the glutes firing uh, by god they're sore so I'm just kind of at this moment in time head down and uh, just trying to tick off some early miles I am practicing with gels today I am in race kit uh, bar the shoes which I'm testing out the Pro 3s I'm in full race kit got some gels with me and I'll just start practicing Okay, quick check-in, over halfway now, uh, just gone over 15 miles, 1 hour 45 minutes. And what I've decided to do was I was going to do a loop-the-loop -loop of the cycle track, but uh, I was just struggling a little bit on the cycle track, so I did one loop, I've come off, and now I'm going to do two of my smaller 10k loops that I've been doing during this training block, and uh, it's paying off so far because I wanted to get into a rhythm. I came up the big hill on the cycle track and got to the end of the loop averaging seven flat per mile as I said just feeling a bit dommy this morning um, but rolling nicely now 652 average pace I don't have mile splits so I have no idea what my splits are auto lap is off um, I'm just kind of rolling so we'll see how long we can roll for Right, 
right, let's wrap this up. Two hours, I don't know if you can see that. So two, oh, two hours, 31 minutes, 22.37 miles, 6.5 average pace per mile. We're rolling now, 10 minutes to go. So I'm gonna put the final stats on screen and uh, for the, today, not the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last where we don't start great, but we finish strong. And uh, full weekly stats on screen as well. So a great build back week. We're really happy with this. Happy to wrap this one up. Less than 10 minutes to go now. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this week's episode, guys, please do give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and I will see you on the next one. Till then.